Well, you've described pairing as the least understood and most undervalued practice of the extreme yeah. programming practices. Why do you think it's so poorly understood? There's kind of the obvious critique, which is wrong. If I'm a manager and I'm counting beans in terms of how to deliver software faster, why on earth should I pay two people to do the job of one person? Well, that's a stupid analysis. It seems obvious, but it's wrong. So if you look at the data, the data on pair programming is pretty strong and pretty consistent. If you ask two people to do a task together and one person to do the same task, the two people will do it in about 60% of the time that the one person does it. So they're nearly twice as fast, but not quite. But then if you look at the quality of their output, quality is dramatically higher. So if you measure productivity over the whole life cycle, pairs are more productive than individuals working alone.